Hey, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about my five minute LinkedIn content marketing system or content publishing system. And this is all about how I publish all of my daily content for LinkedIn in about five minutes or less. I'm making this video because it seems like a lot of interest on my channel recently is coming from my LinkedIn content. So I think this would be useful and relevant for people who are watching my videos. So if you're new here, real quick, my name is Sean. On this channel, I talk about how to make money from writing online. So if you want more content around that, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. And so I'm just gonna jump into my screen here. If you're new here, the way that I go over my content is pretty relaxed and pretty informal. And I'm just gonna walk you through this system and show you some live examples of how it works. So this was actually covered in my Friday Fire newsletter. It's a weekly newsletter, obviously, every Friday. And this is a strategy that I shared in there, but there was a lot of good responses from that. And I know not everybody's on my email list. So thought, why not make a video about this as well and, and show you live about how this works. So my five minute LinkedIn content marketing system. Again, this is how I publish all of my daily content for LinkedIn, five minutes or less. And it's responsible for in a matter of about a month and a half to two months, 3K followers and 60K plus in sales in, like I said, under two months. So it works, I love doing this. I don't do any outbound on LinkedIn anymore. All of it is content-based and driving people to my DMs and to my different digital product offers. So let's jump into the steps right now. This is gonna be especially useful for you if you are already creating and publishing content, maybe on another platform, maybe to your own email list, and you want an extra distribution channel like LinkedIn. So step one is to create a consistent content schedule. This is not just for LinkedIn. This is basically for any platform. So for me personally, I have a post in the morning, usually around 7 or 8 a.m. Pacific, and I have another one at 5 p.m. Pacific. So my audience knows every day they're going to get a post from me in the morning and a post from me in the evening. And so you don't need a post two every day, right? That's, that's a lot for most people. It doesn't even need to be one a day. As long as you set a consistent schedule, whether that's one a week or twice a week, three times a week, whatever it is, as long as you stick to it, that's the important thing. So consistency with your content isn't about how frequently you're posting, unless that is your schedule. Consistency is just showing up and giving people an idea of what to expect from you. So let's say it's every Monday at 5 p.m. Make sure that every Monday at 5 p.m. you are posting a piece of content. Don't go ghost for you know a few weeks. So consistency, it's not about how much you're doing, it's about showing up when you say you will and letting people know what to expect from you. So that's step one, create a consistent content schedule. Again, mine is in the morning, seven or 8 a.m. and another post at 5 p.m. Step two is to steal from yourself. So I write a daily email. That's like at the center of all of the content I create is my daily email. This is it right here. If you wanna join my email list, go to seananthony.co, you get a free course with that and you'll start to see these daily emails. But you can see here, Two of the most important lessons I've learned back in 2019, I created my first hybrid course and coaching offer. And this email becomes reposted to my LinkedIn channel sometimes. So you can see here, same post. And then also I slice and dice that up into a few tweets. So if you go to my Twitter profile here, I take the idea of the email and I schedule out two to three tweets from that. I also will make a video sometimes, a YouTube video based on one of my best performing emails. So this week, a lot of people responded to my Friday Fire newsletter, which I sent out a few hours ago. And so I thought, why not just turn this into a video? So I write this daily email and this becomes multiple different pieces of content on multiple di distribution channels. So most people are afraid to take their content and repurpose it across multiple channels because they'll think they're going to annoy people. but not everyone's watching you at every minute of the day on every platform. So don't be afraid of taking the work that you've already done and repurposing it across multiple different channels. If I have this email, I'm not just going to keep it to myself, especially if there's only a 20% open rate on average. I wanna make sure as many people see it as possible. So I'm gonna repost it to my other channels like LinkedIn and Twitter and also my Facebook group. So that is step two, steal from yourself. Don't be afraid to repurpose and repost your content to multiple distribution channels. Step three is to stay a day ahead. So the best way to be consistent is not just picking up your phone and making a post when you feel like it. It's when you are staying a little bit ahead, I recommend at least one day ahead so that you don't have to stress about 
publishing in real time, right? That can be very stressful. It can be very high pressure. And what most people, when they expect to post in real time, they don't actually do it. Then they fall behind, they lose momentum and they stop posting altogether. So I recommend staying at least one day ahead. Now, me personally, I use a tool called Taplio. So for Taplio, I, I schedule out all of my 5 p.m. slots, usually about a week in advance. The way that I come up with these slots here is I just take my best performing tweets. Let's just like copy and paste this, for example. And then I'll repost it into the 5 p.m. slot because not everyone who follows me on Twitter is on LinkedIn and vice versa. So this, you can see right here, this, this next week is all covered with the 5 p.m. slots. The 7 a.m. slots, I don't always schedule out because sometimes my daily emails, I will write it the morning of because I like to keep it extra fresh. But this is how I stay ahead of the game and make sure that I have a post every day is schedule it out. And I use this tool called Taplio. If you want to sign up for this link, I'll have an affiliate link below in the description. You don't have to use that link. It just helps me out a little bit. The URL, if you want to help me out, use my link is seananthony.co slash Taplio, T-A-P-L-I-O. But I recommend this either way. It's a great tool. You can also do things like check in your stats. And I made a separate review video on this, so I won't do that now. But that is step three, stay a day ahead so that you're not rushing to publish in real time. And usually when you do that, your content is not as good either. So step four is to fuel the content idea machine. So I've been sharing just now about how much content that I create personally, but you're probably wondering, how do you create enough content for yourself? You don't have to create daily or two times daily content across four or five different channels, by the way. You just have to set a schedule and actually stick to it so people know what to expect from you and so you show up regularly. Now, me personally, how I come up with content is not just magically coming up with it out of thin air. The real secret is I have this content idea machine. So how do you do this for yourself? Well, first off, you need to know who you're talking to, who your audience is. Then you need to know their specific pain points that you are able and willing to help them solve. And then you need to know what are their desired outcomes. So if you're watching this video, there's a good chance that you are wanting to build some kind of online business, a, a lean one person online business that has to do most likely with writing, right? Writing emails, copywriting, something around that. So that is my who. A lot of people in my audience are nine to fivers or freelancers. So I know who I'm talking to. I know what your specific pains are. You can't get clients. You're not making the money you want. You're stuck in a job you don't like. And I understand your outcomes, right? A lot of people want to have an online business. They want to make a full-time income doing this and writing online. And so that is my who, my specific pain points, outcomes at a, at a high level. So um, there's a lot more that goes into this. The more that you learn and know about your audience, the better your content is going to be. So once you understand that, once you understand the who, the pains and the outcomes, you can simply live your life and then think about content, think about insights, experiences, examples, stories that you can tie back that's relevant and useful to your who. Okay, so every day when I'm doing normal stuff, right, when I'm just working on my business, when I'm creating content, consuming content, when I go out and train in boxing and BJJ and I go play golf and I drink with my friends and I travel, even watching Netflix or hanging out with my wife or hanging out with my family, all of these things, I'm always thinking about my audience, thinking about you. What is relevant and useful that I can take away from what I'm doing and apply it and, and maybe write about it in an email or on my, on my content. So I note down anything that could be relevant and useful to you. And it all comes back to these three, right? Who, the pains, and the outcomes. So once you know that, everything in your life can become relevant and useful if you know how to tie it back. So this is a bit of a deeper topic. I'm going to have a separate product that's launching in the future, a pretty cheap product, $100 or less around creating content and building an audience. And we'll go deeper into this topic. But in the meantime, this four-step system should get you going. You can use this for LinkedIn. You can actually use this for multiple different platforms, but this is how I get all of my LinkedIn content published and scheduled in five minutes or less. I just showed you how I come up with the ideas, the tools that I use for scheduling and my content cadence for how often I'm, I'm posting and the, the reasoning behind that, how to create your own cadence. So if you want more content like this, if you enjoyed this, this is from my Friday Fire newsletter, this entire lesson. If you wanna get the next issue right when it comes out, and my free 1K a day offer buffet course, go to seananthony.co. You can opt in, you will get this course instantly and you'll get the next Friday fire issue next Friday when it comes out. I send it out at 12 p.m. Pacific. But that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you got a lot of value out of it, give it a like. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.